Robert Truth, the head engineer. And I'm Zach Smith, the recovery and ground support designer at Delta Space Systems. This is the Hermes rocket motor, which we have been working on for the last couple of months. The material we are using is high tech POI by Chrysopolymers, which is sufficient because the motor burn time is short. We've also ran tests to make sure that the heat won't melt the case and nozzle. The nozzle is held in by four M3.5 millimeter screws. At the bottom of the case, there's a three millimeter thick insulator to make the setup even stronger. These parts are all fused together with some JVO2. During the test, the igniter got stuck in the nozzle, which didn't let the pressure from combustion escape. Due to this, it overpressurized itself and blew off the nozzle from the entire motor. Instantly after this test, we started analyzing our test results and designing a new nozzle. The old nozzle is a poor design because there is no o-ring. The new nozzle forces the o-ring against the case to prevent any pressure leaks. Now here is the most recent test. The nozzle performed as expected, but there is too much thrust, which resulted in the nozzle flying down out of the mount. It then flipped over and flew out of sight. Then the insulator came back down and landed next to the stand. Now we will design a new version of the motor, which will use finer propellant in a better controlled environment, a better nozzle geometry, and a annealed case. The case will be able to withstand much higher temperatures and pressures once it's annealed. I hope you liked the complete analysis of the Hermes 1 and 2 static fires. Although these two tests were failures, we got helpful data to create the next generation of rocket technology. I'm Cole. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the launch site.